originally from New Jersey, uh, went to uh, University of Georgia undergrad, got a degree, a BBA in economics, um, went to uh, Seton Hall University for law school, practiced did a judicial law clerkship in, uh, in Essex County, New Jersey, and then uh, insurance defense work for three and a half years in New York and moved to Atlanta and been doing real estate ever since. Once we get a title request, we do a title examination to find out if there's any issues on title, such as liens, encumbrances, mechanics liens, things of that nature, get the payoffs. If there's any issues in title, we resolve those issues and prepare it for closing. During the closing, we prepare a HUD-1 settlement statement that we give to all the parties. Um, if there's no issues that come up um, and everyone agrees on the HUD-1 settlement statement, we disperse the funds, transfer the property, at which point in time uh, the person can expect to receive the warranty deed and security deed two to three months after that process has taken place. Clean title or marketable title is a title in which the title insurance company is willing to insure um, the property. Uh, it's free of encumbrances, anything other than the traditional um, uh, electrical easements or utility easements and things of that nature. Um, in general, there's always going to be issues that arise with titles. With WRI, however, uh, they recently purchased those titles into their own name, so the title's already been through once. So by the time we close the transaction to the final owner, um, most of those titles have already been, been through and there's no issues on, remaining on title. questions we deal with uh, deal with the differences in language. Even some of, even uh, the United Kingdom as opposed to the United States, even though we both speak English, a lot of the words have different meanings such as recording. Um, recording in the U.S. means recorded with the county as opposed to in writing. Um, some other differences deal with the land registration system. Um, a lot of different countries have the uh, actual country, the government itself, issues who owns the land as opposed to the U.S. where we use a recording system where somebody, a title examiner, goes back um, researches the title and determine who the owner of that uh, is and if any issues arise it goes through the court system. In the state of Georgia the attorneys, real estate attorneys, have IULTA accounts or escrow accounts. Um, it's regulated by the State Bar of Georgia and it's audited by all the title companies that owe, uh, that we have issued title insurance with. Um, it's a non-interest bearing account and essentially all the funds that come into that account also are checks are cut out of that account. So for example, if there's a closing and there's $150,000 of proceeds that go into the escrow account for that closing, there's $150,000 worth of checks and wires that are dispersed out of that account. The fees generally run between 1% and 2% and they include attorney's fees, title examination, there's a transfer tax in the state of Georgia for real estate as well as an intangible tax if there's a loan, um, and recording fees. Our firm can uh, assist in forming an LLC. The cost is $500 for a simple LLC um, and we'll help you get an EIN number for it, prepare all the documents and register with the state of Georgia. Thank you for watching the video. I invite you to come to the Atlanta real estate market where I can meet you face to face.